best way to make money in online business is Hey guys, Jason here. And in this episode of The Edge, we are going to take a deep dive into the marketing of Baraby. Baraby makes sustainable, handmade, weighted blankets to make you comfortable and relieve stress. They also make an array of other products such as plushies and pillows. So without further ado, let's take a look at the ad that first caught my attention on CNN.com. Okay, so this is the ad I found found on CNN.com, a nice prominent ad right there. And this guy just looks so comfortable. I think I like to sleep like this too, just hugging my pillow. Man, should I order this? That's an appealing image. And when you click on this image, it opens up a page on CNN. Now I've showed other promotions that flow like this, right? So this is an article that is native to CNN. Right here, they're sharing a disclaimer that it is sponsored by Baraby. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, so forgive me if I'm not. It says, when you make a purchase, CNN receives a commission. CNN news staff is not involved. So that is a disclaimer that they have to make. But let's look at this headline. This sustainably squashy foam is the reason Barabee's stress-free pillows are so popular. So this is an advertorial about their products. You may not exactly know what's inside your bedding, but it matters, both for your well-being and the health of the planet. So they make sustainable products. So very first sentence there, they are pointing out a problem that you don't know what's in your bedding. It could be harmful materials. So it matters for the planet and it matters for your health. That's very powerful. So Baraby is a sustainable home wellness brand that aims to create a calmer, more comforted world through medically beneficial official rest products. So powerful mission statement there. Let's keep scrolling right away. They are showing a product here with a call to action with the price. So the hug it not pillow. But when you scroll down further, they have a little blurb about the product. So when you scroll down further, they are calling out another product, the Cuddler Body Pillow. I just want to do that. I want to try sleeping like that. $199 premium price tag there. Cuddling Bolster Pillow. So it's interesting that in this advertorial, they're not focusing you toward any one product, but they're showing a variety of products, each with their own call to action. I haven't seen that done a lot. But in this instance, I quite like it because they are making me familiar with the brand and what they stand for. And then I can just pick the product that seems the most interesting to me. And it would probably be this one. And it takes you directly to this page on their shop. Very efficient flow there. And before we dive into any of the tools, let's just take a look at their website. I love the branding and design here. Love the logo. It just creates a feeling. I can tell the logo was well thought out and I love this color scheme. So they've got blue here and they've got the red headed model with this deep, rich red hair contrasting against the blue. I can tell that this website and brand is just very well designed. All the colors in the design create this really harmonious feeling that makes the brand feel luxurious, but it also pops with these color contrasts. I love what they're doing here. Not only do they have credibility logos, but they actually have quotes from these companies right below the logo. So I think that really adds something because I get used to seeing these on a lot of websites, but here you're getting an actual quote from someone at that company. Then in the next section, you get a glimpse at their variety of products. It seems like they're very known for these weighted blankets, but the best way to make money in online business is sell your loyal customers more stuff. So of course they are kind of taking on this whole category of, of being a sustainable company in the comfort and sleep space. I want to give a shout out to the designer because I'm not a designer, but something about this color just feels right. The overall color scheme, just the design makes them feel like a premium brand, which that's smart because if you go back here and look at the pillow on CNN, that's $200 for a pillow. So they better well make you feel like it's a premium brand and not a website 
you know, coming from the late 90s. I really like the user experience of what they've done here. So when you click on these sections, you can click on a section, sustainably squashy, earth loving covers, naturally cuddly. So you can click on that and it's gonna load up a different video. So they've kind of fit a lot into just this section. And this kind of plays like a GIF. Let's see what this video is all about. I really like what they've done here. There's no audio. It's just that the, the image and the mood feels premium. It showcases the product because remember here, guys, they're trying to sell you a pillow that costs $200. I'm sure you could easily go find one for $10. So this is where I think imagery and branding play a big role. Let's jump on over to similar web and take a look at their traffic. So total traffic over the last three months coming in at 786,000. Most of that traffic is coming from the U S but not all of it though. You can see it's about 57%. The rest of it is distributed amongst a variety of countries. I'm actually coming to you from Mexico, Mexico city. And there is a market for premium products here because right down the street is a store called city market. And man, they have some expensive stuff there. If you want a electric kettle to warm up your water for your tea, I've seen those go for $200. I'm not paying that, but I'm just saying there are markets for premium products in other places besides the US. So other than direct, we see that most of their traffic is coming from organic search followed by paid search, right? So just search in general is a big channel for these guys. When we take a look at their social traffic, it's mostly Facebook followed by Instagram, then YouTube. We see TikTok showing up here, then Reddit, then other. All right, now I want to jump on over to SEM Rush and let's take a look at some of this organic and paid traffic. So on their domain overview here, we're seeing almost 90K in organic search traffic. Paid search traffic coming in at 1.2K with almost 46K backlinks. So let's just drill further in here and take a look at their organic terms. So Baraby, Baraby weighted blanket, Baraby blanket. So these are all branded terms, but it's not all branded terms. They are coming up for the term body pillow. And the volume on that is quite significant at over 60K. Tailbone pain. Interesting. I want to see what they're actually doing there. How to sleep soundly with tailbone pain from coccyx pain to restful slumber. Six minute read. They've got a nice beefy article going in depth here, giving the actual medical term, I guess, for the name. Oh, wow. Okay. So when you scroll on down, you see that they're actually plugging their product there. They're giving more tips, avoid sleeping on your stomach. Can my sleeping position cause tailbone pain? Home remedies. So this is a pretty in-depth article. So imagine how happy these guys are to be receiving some of that nice organic search traffic. So they're coming up for pregnancy pillow, again, body pillow here, sleeping on the floor, good for you, weighted stuffed animal, actually a lot of search around that. Let's just take a look here. What is a weighted stuffed animal and why you need one? Huh. And they've actually got a call out for their product, Bear Buddies. They've made a beautiful presentation out of this article. It's a nice, beefy article. So I can tell that they are actually focusing on their SEO strategy. So we get an idea of what they're doing there. Let's take a quick look at their paid keywords. Wow. Okay. Best weighted blankets. I remember years ago, my daughter actually got a weighted blanket. So there must be something to it. It must be comforting. Uh, we see the volume here is about 10,000. The next is their branded term, Barabee weighted blanket, Barabee, Barabee pillow, weighted blanket. They're not doing a ton of paid search, but they are hitting all their brand terms plus some of this category search, people searching for weighted blankets. All right, let's jump on over to AdBeat because I actually found these guys through display. So let's see what they're doing on display. AdBeat is not pulling a lot of data. Maybe they don't pull data uh, when people do direct buys like Barabee is advertising directly through CNN. They might be doing a lot of display advertising, but AdBeat might just not be able to pick that up. I just want to get a quick idea of some of the ads that they have tried. Looks like a YouTube ad. Awesome. 
I love it. Looks like custom images that they have produced. Hmm. Not too much going on there. Just the B from their logo. So not too much going on there. Bear be not pillow. This is very minimal what they're showing. I like what they did directly on CNN much better. Adbeat is not picking up too much. Okay, when I scrolled down to the bottom of their site, I actually noticed they have an affiliate program, which explains a lot of the videos that you're seeing from YouTubers. Bear be weighted blanket review. So this fellow gives a review. Bear be napper review. Another YouTuber doing a six months later review. This one is actually from Baraby, but the affiliate program would explain a lot of these reviews. So that's cool that they're getting a lot of reviews from users. Side note, if you start an affiliate program for a product like this, it's probably a good way to get people doing a great coverage of you. Looks like she's going all out here on her channel, just showcasing the product. But let's see what's going on on the Baraby channel. Okay, so Baraby's got 312 subscribers. It looks like it would be their official channel, My Baraby. They're not too active here. It's just a place for them to store their videos. But even though they're not so active directly, they've got all these YouTubers getting them a lot of coverage across YouTube. So that's great. And last but not least, let's take a look at their Facebook ads. So when I look at their Facebook ads, only four results here. Again, remember, most of their traffic is, is coming from organic search followed by paid search. I would say they're probably spending a significant amount of money on CNN because CNN isn't going to let you spend five or ten bucks a day. They're going to want to get you in for you know a minimum deal and running with a big publisher like that with the amount of traffic they have I would imagine is significant. So what I'm seeing here is that they just aren't running a lot of ads on Facebook as far as number of ads, but maybe they're just keeping it simple, focusing on a few ads, and let's take a look at a couple of those ads. Sleeping under weight can help you feel safe, secure, and grounded. Increasing your serotonin and melatonin while decreasing your cortisol levels. So they're giving you a scientific angle there. Uh, they've packed a lot into that one sentence. I like it. Uh, showcasing the product. Uh, let's take a look at this next one here. It's actually a video. Uh, weighted blankets can help you fall and stay asleep through deep touch pressure, which decreases your cortisol levels while increasing your serotonin and melatonin. Again, kind of getting into the science of it there. Sleep so good at night. I'm a light sleeper, but when I use this weighted blanket, I sleep throughout the night. And even though it has good weight to it, it doesn't keep me hot at night. You guys got to try the weighted blanket by Verity, man. Sweet dreams. So a little UGC style content there. I like it. And oh, I almost didn't notice this, but I see there they are taking you to Amazon, it looks like. So let me click that. They are just taking you to their Amazon shop. Not sure what's going on with that strategy there. That's kind of interesting. Another thing Baraby could try, I don't know if they have tried it, but it would be worth trying, I think, is setting up a Facebook shop and selling straight through the Facebook shop. Just in split test that I've done, that has been more successful than sending customers to the e-commerce website. But this is pretty interesting. I don't see this a lot where they are running ads and sending people from Facebook to Amazon. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. This is Jason signing off, and I'll see you in the next episode of The Edge.